Exactly. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jonathan Albin in Nikos RPG, and we are talking about the state of play. And we want to talk about what's causing all of the drama in the role-playing game world. We see it almost every day with comments about what the company's doing here, what the players are doing there, what the movies are doing there here, what the product releases are doing there. And all of this leads to a dramatic st state where players are deciding to not be a part of a role-play game any longer, and now we want to type face it. And the reality is, is that it's VUCA. I mentioned it a little bit at the end of the last video, but the reality is that words mean things. In the case of the world as it is, nobody's really listening, and so I want to kind of go over this for you to show how it applies in a role-play games environment, and more importantly, how we can counteract it by using another set of VUCA, so to speak. So volatility. Volatility is the inability of a property to hold its position. It either is moving to get bigger, trying to move smaller, trying to optimize, trying to streamline. All of these different forces are causing nothing but confusion in the games group because the person, as he learns the game, learns a specific, specific, specific form of the game and therefore is holding on to that. And as other data is still flying at him, those words are lost. That meaning, that meaning is lost in the noise of everything else. And so volatility is a bad thing. It actually harms a property, a role-playing game, to have to change its rules. As a matter of fact, in the last two couple of years, Dungeons & Dragons had to go so far as to uh, release an entire rescission of one of their books because they included something that was uh, off-color in particularly... Uh, dangerous in terms of communications. I'll go back to that later. When we talk about uncertainty, consideration time is something that has to increase whenever you create more uncertainty. If I can't be sure of what works in a game system, I've got to experiment, I've got to consider, I've got to think more. And all of that consideration time eats into the play time because now instead of actually just knee-jerk reaction, roll the dice, move the mice, move on with the game. Instead, I have to consider my options more thoroughly and consider what the side effects will be, and that uncertainty leads to an unfun play experience. We're not enjoying the game anymore because we're now having to play it at a meta level all the way through. Furthermore, additional complexities occur whenever you come up with a new game system or a new uh, module or whatever because every one of them by its nature has stuff that's unique to it and so therefore there's more complexity and that can that obscures the details that are behind the data because you're holding to what is now in the rules and not considering why they were added or what you might have done as an alternative and all of this leads to forms of ambiguity which system are you playing? Are we playing D&D 5e? Are we playing 5e with uh, Beyond? Are we playing 4th edition, but we're using 5e rules? What, what, where are we? And so that ambiguity keeps spawning into indefinite terms, difficulty and clarity, and it becomes more, impossible, more difficult to actually shut up and play the game, so to speak. Now... I mentioned that VUCA is the problem. Well, VUCA is always the, also the answer. I'm going to go over those in a minute. They are quickly vision, understanding, clarity, and agility. Vision is the, the active choice of deciding what you are going to be looking at. In other words, that's being able to actively imagine alternatives on the fly, almost like you're predicting what might happen or how the rules might change over the future, which means you have to be aware. And so vision is both a looking backward to gain context and a looking forward to project, project and predict. Understanding comes from internalizing the paradigms, the very things that are currently working, comprehend them, understand them, internalize them, and understand the scope of them to where that when, they, when that, that image fails to hold any longer, change your focus, find a new way to look at things. And this is... Fundamentally, how Nikos RPG came out. I originally looked at 
the Dungeons and Dragons rules and said what could we adapt and take beyond the, the current tabletop and then pretty soon realized that it actually left the entire tabletop behind. So this, of course, leads to a much more dynamic uh, theater of the mind gameplay, and so therefore it's been a, ba a boon instead of a bane. But just realize that understanding comes from knowing this stuff. Now, beyond that, clarity is the ability to see the changes as they're coming, and that spawns from precision, but it also uh, spawns from focus. You don't get a clear line of sight if you're trying to scan the whole horizon. You have to draw in your clarity to cover the particular instance that you're dealing with. So in a VUCA environment, as things become volatile, as they become uncertain, you focus in on what really works and stay with that. And then finally, agility arises from being able to the ability to respond rapidly to rash, uh, with rational reason for things that happen in games. So in other words, I'm doing this because the rules changed in this fashion and I want to be able to hold it forward. So we're going to, you know, carry these stipulations forward and by having the agility to change on the fly, the clarity to see what's on the future, on the horizon, the understanding of how to deal with what we've already dealt with in the past and put it in context, and the vision to see all of this picture at the same time really gives us the answer. VUCA is vision, understanding, clarity, and agility. And we have now formally run through all the material I had for today. So, Thank you so much for sticking with me for the entire show. If you have not yet uh, joined us, make sure you uh, follow the show. If you if you really like what you're seeing, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe because it helps to keep the channel flowing. And I also want to invite you to be a part of our community. There's a Discord connect, a link down below. Feel free to join that, and you can hop in and chat with me anytime. All right, this is Jonathan Albin, Nikos RPG. Have a great night.